Legend has it that an 18th century Polish king loved these dainty tea cakes so much that he named them after the woman Madeleine, who baked them. Well, nowadays there are many variations, but I'll teach you how to make the classic vanilla version. You start with four eggs. You beat these eggs until they're really, really frothy and light with two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now, while those are beating, I'll show you how to prepare the Madeleine molds. This is a typical Madeleine mold, it's half of a shell, sort of like an elongated scallop shell. And it's very important to prepare these molds very, very well by buttering them with room temperature butter and a brush, getting into every indentation and a little bit of butter on the top of the pan. And then a sprinkling of flour in each of the shells. Bang out all that flour and there you have it. It's easy, but it must be thorough. Otherwise you will have madeleines that stick in the pan. Your oven should be preheated to 375 degrees. Have a half a cup of butter melted and cooled, but not solidified. While this is mixing, you can add one teaspoon of best quality vanilla. You can see how much volume it's getting. Now this is almost ready. It's really frothy and fluffy. Add one teaspoon of lemon zest. And this flour I've already sifted because I'm gonna make lots of these madeleines and you measure one cup of sifted flour. A little bit of flour and that. A little bit of flour and that. Now take your beater off and you still have the butter to incorporate. Now make sure the butter is cool and a little bit at a time fold into the batter. Working quickly around and around. It's good to turn your bowl as well as swirl around. That's one stick of butter. So now this is beautifully incorporated, ready to spoon into our mold. You can use a little scoop like this. You could use two spoons. I find that the metal ends will become more even size if you use an ice cream scoop like this. The batter does even out. Now I could go on and on about Marcel Proust and his Madeleines. That's really kind of what made Madeleines famous for me uh, when I read A la Recherche de Temps Perdu, Remembrance of Things Past. But see how pretty this looks? They're leveling out. Now this recipe makes 36 madeleines. Keep filling your molds. Get them right into a preheated oven, 375 degrees, seven minutes. Set your timer. So now seven minutes. Golden brown around the edges. And you press, oh, they pop right back. That's exactly nice. And it's a nice little bit of golden brown. So these should cool for a second so you can handle them. And I always like to test that they're going to pop out. And I just lift with the point of a bamboo skewer like that. And all of them seem to be semi-loose. <laughs> Some a little looser than others. So now don't get upset, but uh, I just turn them like this and out they come. Perfect little madeleines. There's one more. Tender, light as feathers, delicious madeleines. Now, I think I know why Proust dreamed about them. You can sprinkle these while they're still a little bit warm with a tad of confectioner sugar. And traditionally, these are served hot out of the oven, generally wrapped in a white linen napkin in a little basket or bowl. In the very fanciest restaurants in New York, they are served right before the fancy formal desserts as a little amuse-bouche, I think.
but I love these. And I will continue to make them forever. Madeleines are delicious any time of day. Enjoy.